Well, hi, boys and girls. It's me, Debbie Fry from Mary Mother of God, and today is Good Friday. It's a very special and sacred day in our church where all over the world people will remember Jesus dying for us on the cross. Now, this isn't like any Good Friday that I ever remember. If it was a regular Good Friday, I would be getting ready for church. And at church, our young people would be doing a play where they're acting out the crucifixion of Jesus. And then also at church, we would do something that we don't do very often, and it's called venerating the cross. And to venerate literally means to pay homage or to worship with great awe. And on Good Friday during church, we would all go forward, everyone, young and old, and we would go forward and venerate the cross, which means sometimes we would bow down, we would kneel, we would touch the cross, or perhaps even kiss the cross. But because of COVID-19, there won't be any church today. So I thought that maybe one of our friends in heaven could teach us a different way to venerate the cross. And that friend from heaven is named St. Kateri Tikakwetha. St. Kateri was called the Lily of the Mohawks. She was born a Mohawk Indian in upstate New York in the late 1600s. Later on in life, after she became a Catholic, she immigrated to Canada where she lived as part of a mission run by Jesuit priests, and that's where she died in Quebec at the age of 24. Now, St. Kateri would have great love for the people of Canada and of the United States, since she called both places her home. She would also have great love and respect and, and compassion for people suffering from COVID-19 right now, because she had some experience with this. When she was only four years old, there was another disease sweeping the world. It was called smallpox. Tens of thousands of people died and smallpox actually hit her village and her entire family got smallpox. Her mother, her father, her little brother, and Katiri herself. Her whole family died and Katiri was the only one who survived. And even after she survived, she was almost completely blind and she had horrible scars on her face from the fever. She was adopted by her aunt and uncle, and after that, she was bullied a great deal by the other children. They used to call her names. One of the names literally meant the one who bumps into things because they would laugh at her as she struggled to see, and she often would trip or fall down. They would also come up and hit her over the head with sticks because she couldn't see them coming. And yet St. Kateri, through all of that, continued to trust in the Lord with all her heart. And she had her own special way of venerating the cross. She would make a crucifix out of twigs. And she was very good at that, even though her eyesight wasn't that great. She could make a crucifix out of sticks very easily. She was good at weaving and, and uh, doing beadwork and that sort of thing. So she was very good at it. And she would make these crosses and she would put them on the trees in the forest and she would scatter them throughout the forest. She would use them when she prayed the rosary or when she was praying the Stations of the Cross. But most importantly, they also gave her guidance. Because St. Kateri, when she would go outside, she would often have a blanket and she would pull the blanket up and over her head. Boys and girls, she would do this because the bright sunlight was very painful to her damaged eyes. It was also a way of her hiding the scars on her face. So as she was walking through the forest and she would have the blanket up over her head, she would be going from tree to tree and she would be feeling with her hand. And sometimes she would feel a cross that she had put on the tree previously. And as soon as she felt the cross, she was happy because that reminded her that even in the darkness, that Jesus was still with her. So right then and there, she would venerate the cross. She would bow down she would kneel down. Sometimes she would kneel down in the snow, in the dead of winter. She would kneel in the snow and she would pray. She would thank Jesus for loving her enough to die for her. And she would ask him to forgive her all of her sins. Now imagine what Jesus must have been feeling when he would see St. Kateri walking through the forest, feeling her way and praying to him. He rewarded her with an amazing miracle when she died. She died during Holy Week. 
on Holy Wednesday. She died at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is the same time of day that Jesus died on Good Friday. She was surrounded by many people when she died, including two Catholic priests. And when she died, the priests told us afterwards that her last words were, Jesus, I love you. And she was holding one of her crosses made of sticks. And when she died, everyone who was there witnessed an amazing miracle when all of the scars on her face disappeared and she was beautiful. The priests later wrote that they believed that that was a sign that St. Kateri had made it to heaven and the one who had struggled to see her whole life could now see clearly and the first face that she saw was Jesus himself welcoming her into his kingdom. So boys and girls, on this special Good Friday during COVID-19, I'm gonna invite you to do what I did and make a cross out of sticks, just like St. Kateri taught us. Use whatever you had. I just found a couple of sticks. You can use popsicle sticks, you can use Play-Doh, you can use crayons, you can use pencil sticks, whatever you wanna do. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Like if you look at my cross, I don't know if you can see, but I didn't have uh, any string. So I actually uh, used Christmas ribbon. So I hope that's okay. I think Jesus won't mind. Do you? He shouldn't mind. He knows that I did my best work and I did it with love. And then what I'm going to invite you to do is find a place for your cross. You can put it up on a tree. You can hang it like a Christmas ornament on an evergreen tree in your yard. You can find a place for it in your home. Whatever you decide is best. But then I'm going to invite you to take a few minutes and venerate the cross and bow down just like St. Kateri. Thank Jesus for loving you enough to die for you and ask him to forgive all of your sins. That's all for now. I'll be back tomorrow with another video for Holy Saturday. Until then, boys and girls, continue to be safe and be well and trust in God with all of your hearts. Peace be with you. And St. Kateri Tikakwitha, pray for us. Bye for now.